a few people on their own doing an art show in a basement somewhere. Well now, it comes down to me and you. The riddle of art is that we do not know what it is until it is no longer that which it was. Furthermore, art is defined as much by what it is as by what it is not, by what it does or can do as by what it does not or cannot do. It is defined even by what it fails to achieve. In a beautiful confusion, the water doesn't know how to trickle down. So the particles and objects, money, but Documenta 13 is nonetheless not organized around any attempt to read historical conditions through art. As I always told journalists, I have no concept. <laughs> Therefore, participants in Documenta 13 come from a range of fields of activity. Of course, they mostly come from art. But also, we welcome those from science, including physics and biology, eco-architecture and organic agriculture, renewable energy research. This involves reconnecting people. Uh, I'm going to skip a little bit. Okay, to be committed, I'm going to skip this, I'm going to skip this, I'm going to skip this, I'm going to skip this. I'm not going to skip it all. So, due to the fact, this is serious, you know, this is documented. So, due to the fact, you mentioned the computer actually comes out of well, I'm not speaking about children. There are many parallel stories to the invention of the computer, but the, the Germans are part of it. It would disappear, and I guess that means that Documenta will eventually disappear as well. The possibility that art would collapse into other activities, or maybe you didn't talk about that. Tell us the ways in which art will not end in that case, but talk a bit about the collapse of art and other categories of activity. Uh, thank you for that question. That's a huge misunderstanding. Huge misunderstanding. I never once said that art would collapse, nor that there would be no art. Never. What I said is many, 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 many interviews is that humans tend to define the fields of the cultural that they make. And those fields change in history. The experience, the professional experience in the castle. The question was, uh, you. There was a criticism of you censoring uh, the public space, the art in public space, and I just wanted your comment on that. Yeah, I never censored anything. I uh, personally called the artist the morning that I saw it there and asked him if he would have put it there had he known that we were doing works on the square and had he known that I didn't know about it. And he answered to me on the telephone that no, had we had that conversation prior to his installing it, he would not have installed it. And I told him I will never ask an artist to remove a piece and therefore I never did censor it. I never asked him to, you know, um, remove it. I, that, that would be absurd. I asked him to consider the hypothesis if he felt that it was inappropriate. And he felt that it was appropriate and I respect that. Um, there was one more point that I wanted to make about that. Um, oh yeah, I also never asked to remove the Hercules from the village. I saw some posters around the city saying, off with the Hercules. I never said that. <laughs> How you got involved with Castle yes. and the entire structure. I, I believe as a woman, actually, as a woman and as a feminist, I am very conscious of these questions and I feel strongly that indigenous rights are of the utmost importance in the world today. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Thanks. What do you feel, how was this special process of selection? I appreciate that question and I didn't know that there were sports journalists here together with us. <laughs> Uh, so, um, from my own perspective, my primary audience are the people that I'm with when I'm with them. So that's the answer about the million. I, I don't really have this, these, you know, soccer team objectives at all. Uh, what was the other thing about my confusion? Uh, well, uh, I think confusion is a very healthy position to be in. I think it's cum fondere. I think it's really wonderful. Yeah.
Kinder verlassen werden. Ich wünsche gerne an, bedanke mich nochmals bei allen Beteiligten und wünsche Ihnen und den Besuchern, die noch folgen werden, einen angenehmen Aufenthalt in unserer Stadt.